Welcome to the Straight Red Card. Um, I hate doing this every show. Like, subscribe. I'm not going to say stick it sell up your the ass. Show. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Get them. Get in there. Like, subscribe. Hit a whole, you know, all of all that. that stuff. Leave a comment. All of it. Yeah. Leave it there. You know who I feel like when I do that? When I have to do that? I feel like that lady at the Tour de France who wrecked the whole um, race yesterday or sign. two <laughs> days ago holding that sign. Yeah. I feel well, like a total fool. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess when announcing when it happened, it's definitely going to be specific to when either people are watching us or when we post it. Because it could be four or five days old prior to us posting this video. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it will be. But you still. know, the funny thing is that she escaped. Like no one ta- tackled that chick. And said, no, you're not going anywhere. You're going to publicly admit you just did that. <laughs> and because the police now are looking for her. <laughs> oh, man. Did you hear that? The police? Uh, no, are... but I, did yep. not, I did not know that. Oh, my God. And Could you Dakota... imagine just, be, just being out there to glory hunt some form of fame by being on TV. And all of a sudden you're being hunted by the police. She is. God. Yeah, and the Tour de France is suing her as so soon as comical. they can identify her. Yep. So I'd hate to be her, but then again, man, you go to a race like that, don't stand in like on the track and hold a sign and knock off one of the best bicyclers in the world at the same time, and then wreck the other 50 behind them. I mean, what a catastrophe. <laughs> All right, this show is not about the Tour de France. This show is about predicting the Qatar roster or cutter. If you're George Bush Jr. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, this is a really tough one to do this early. So if you're watching this and it's it's not 628 2021, that's when we recorded this. And so we could be wrong on some of these because things will change between now and the 2022 um, World Cup. Let's say Caden Clark goes to Leipzig and just starts lighting it up left and right as a center forward. Okay, well, he's probably going to make the U.S. men's national national team if he's tearing up the Bundesliga. That's what, just yeah. a for example. What if Justin Che goes to Bayern and performs? Exactly. Not necessarily at Bayern, but who knows? He might. And that means bye-bye Matt Miazga's spot. Okay, so we cannot predict the future. We are not Petra Damas. We are not Nostradamuses. I like saying that. Um, And so we're just going to do the best we can based on the information we have right now. And we'll do some explaining on it. So, Brett, why don't you start with your three goalkeepers? As I see them now, it's Stefan Horvath and Turner. Bing, bing. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I have. And I don't know how you could argue anything different. Well, I mean, the only thing you could argue different is that, if, say, if Ochoa comes out and has just some stellar seasons with uh, Salt Lake and Turner, you know, shits the bucket. All right. Well, first of all, so far his MLS season this season, Ochoa has been okay. His sure. second, so sure. he, he'd need to blow our socks off next season, and Turner will need to like go down the shitter. Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, that's right. the only thing I, I'm, I'm saying. That's the only thing that could make possibly make a difference. I don't see if things continue the path they're going. I don't see Turner being overthrown, but, but anything's yeah. possible. And that's the anything. spot that's going to be possible. Anything's possible. I could be the backup third and keeper. I want. I want to. I want to emphasize that we're ignoring the possibilities of any injuries because you can never predict that shit. Yeah, I know, and that's oh man, that's been a curse for us in years gone by, but. Um, especially with John O'Brien. Oh, anyhow, yeah. it's been a curse. So let's hope the injury bug does not hit us. Um, my left back backs were uh, Anthony Robinson and Serginio Dest. Yep. Okay. My, your right backs. I, I tried to do a little bit of predicting here. Me and too. I'm going with Reynolds and Cannon. Okay. I went with Reynolds and Yedlin. Sure. It could have I been think, a toss between those two, in my opinion, but. I think Yedlin is going to be playing in Champions League with Galatasaray over the next two seasons, probably. And I think the fire we saw in his belly 
last game for the U.S. men's national team, mm-hmm. told me he knows he's got competition now, and he's going to be putting shit on like the. He's going to be, you know, putting all of his efforts mm-hmm. into things going forward. This is not going to be your average Newcastle game effort from mm-hmm. Yedlin from here on out. Yeah. He's going to but so that's the only he's reason hungry, I, he's hungry, and I can. I, I'd be perfectly fine either way. And don't be mm-hmm. wrong. If Yedlin's firing on all cylinders like he is now, then I would go with him over Cannon, and especially with Cannon's uh, uh, club issues in, in question here. Yes, you know where's I, he? Where's he going to be at next season? He might. He might. <laughs> in all honesty, he might just find his way off the the roster due to where he's playing. Yeah, and I want to preface all this by saying this does not preclude me from also playing Dest as a right back. <laughs> so. Are you, uh, you're, are you looking at my starting 11? No. <laughs> you're hundreds of miles away. Of course I'm not. <laughs> hundreds? Okay. About 100? Was it 90? No. Two miles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You, you think I don't... You think I'd be counting in kilometers or something. All right. Um, I pick... I, in fact, you know, with this whole Reynolds thing... I think it's more likely going to be a battle between Reynolds and Cannon. I think Yedlin's in. I sure. think, I think okay. he's the proven vet. You got to bring him. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. So th- th- that's that's the thing, though. Is in all honesty, I I picked. I, I saw it a little bit different. I saw Re- uh, Reynolds and Yedlin, and uh, so yeah, we we're in the same boat. Just who's who's really on the chopping block and moving forward. So because you know Cannon's year at Boa Vista was far from impressive very far and his u.s men's national team performances so far have been very less than good oh yeah no no we've we've definitely bagged on canon a number of times um not because we're aiming to go out and do so no but because (laughs) those performances just weren't there yeah i mean he did score a goal i mean that was nice that was that was that was a great game for him in all honesty yep that was his best one yep all right, who do you got at center back? Huh? I've got Brooks. Yep. I have got Miazga. Okay. I've got Richards. Mm-hmm. And I've got McKenzie. God damn. Exact same four. Exact same four. I was concerned that long would have you know, long would have hit your uh, your Burhalter list. Yep, but now with his injury and him being gone for a whole year, mm-hmm. he's only going to have like a full season, one full season, really. That's true. You know, we're going to go through an entire qualification process before yep. uh, he's even back and healthy. So, yeah, no, that's a, I, that wasn't a hard decision, actually. <laughs> no, I, that's how I thought about it. I was like, this guy's injured, and who knows if he'll ever be I, the same again. I, I looked at it with my my uh, Brett glasses. You know, this is who I want to see in there, not necessarily who Burhalter will play in there. I have my Burhalter gog- goggles on. Mm-hmm. For that one, although honestly, I pick most of this list as myself. <clears throat> so well, there's, I do... there's not a huge, huge. Uh, I mean, some changes we can make between what Berhalter has called in the past, and we'll get to those other spots here in a few. So, but, yeah. yeah, right. I, but I just think the only way this cannot be the four is if the rift that is supposedly growing in my mind between Matt Miazga <laughs> and Greg Berhalter. Doesn't get improved. Um, all right, all right. So say Miazga's dropped. Who's in? Then it could be long. It really could be. Um, God, I mean, that's that's still pushing. You know, I. I who knows? Maybe Che, Che, a year from now. Or, it could be Che from a year ne- from now. But I mean, look, look who. Uh, I don't know. Look who he's been calling in besides him. I mean, Zimmerman was called in immediately afterwards. So I don't know. Reem. Yeah. How about Reem? There we go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you better you better hope there's no rift between uh, Miazga and uh, Berhalter. Well, Miazga needs to find a team right now. Anderlecht was like went to Chelsea and they're bargaining for him, and Chelsea's like, hell no, nah, bro, you gotta come more more money, more money. That's what mm. we want. If you want him, you buy him for a lot of money. And they said, well, he's not worth that much. Jesus Christ! And they went back to Belgium, and now. Matt stuck at Chelsea. We'll see where who loans him next. He'll be he'll be uh, starting for another championship team probably because that's I hope not. They can throw. And man, do you, do you think do you think afterwards do you think Chelsea's going to take a loss on the possible loan slash transfer that they would have got to Enderlich? 
I think they're willing to. And I then think he's going to go for free. This is a, we, we, I think we talked about this. We did. We, we talked about that. I'm like, man, I don't know why you just don't make the sale at this point. You've already got four years of, of loaned seasons or whatever. You know, I feel like you probably have got to be close to making your money back on him. And then you make the transfer. You know, if so, you take a little bit of a loss, you take a little bit of a loss. But I understand what your point is, and you'll probably bring it up here. Well, this is, yeah, this is what I read. And what I read was they totally lowballed that hit them on. on. And if, you, mm. if they accepted that lowball effort for Miazga, it would put in jeopardy the rest of their large suitcase full of players they just loan out every 60 year. plus players yeah i mean they're ridiculous they're hoarders they have so many players so they didn't want to they thought that would drop the price for everybody else so they said no hmm. and it's too bad well, because I mean, Anderlich wanted them i mean I, I feel though that it shouldn't necessarily drop the value of other players on loan if if they just simply don't rate miazga as a viable option for Chelsea. They're like, well, this is not ha- this is not happening. At that point, if I was a club, I would be looking at I need to recoup as much as I can. Now he's absolutely has no chance of ever playing for Chelsea. No, exactly. That's my point. And they know that too, but that doesn't mean they're going to go. Yeah, and elect your low ball thing. We'll just take that. I just yeah. they they're playing hard ball because they can. They're Chelsea. Yeah, they do. Um, I mean, he, he'll he'll get he'll get shipped off to a another lower division, like I said, probably championship, play for the year, and then uh, go out on free. So I don't know how that really benefits Chelsea in the end, but it does, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think they, I think they could get a couple more years I'm, of loans out of them. So. I'm just an idiot with a microphone, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, back. Um, oh, and I'm talking about the musical bet, not the politic, not the. Uh, uh, political commentator back. Um, so I picked, since you started with center backs, I'll start with midfield. My okay. brain almost broke there. Yeah. Um, did you hear it break? You can yeah. hear the, the, I heard the, I heard the gear. I heard the gears <laughs> straining. I couldn't quite smell it though. Oh boy. All right. Um, midfield. I have Adams. McKenzie, legit. No, no, you don't have McKenzie. McKenny. There you go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I actually wrote down McKenny. McKenzie. <laughs> All right. It's tough. I mean, come on. Too close yeah, of names. It. Change I, somebody has somebody has to change their name there. I feel like I had it totally sorted out. Um <laughs> But I, I do it all the time. Well, just take one of the ends and put a Z in there. I mean, it's the same fucking name. <laughs> you said legit. All right, Adams McK- McKenny legit, um, Musa, and drummer roll. Keep, sub- keep taking Leon's. players away from places. And Leon Flack. This is the last show. Okay, go on. Leon Flack. Oh, that's yep. an interesting one. I, I put, like it. I like it. I know. I put on my. Um, I did put on my Nostradamus hat for that one, and just said. And if he if he continue if he continues the path he's going, he can make a name for himself. Yeah. That was just one of those take a shot in the dark, you know, things. Because you bagged on me for calling him up for uh, the Gold Cup. I know. Yeah. Because that's not realistic. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so one year from now, he's going to be playing with us in the World Cup instead. Well, to be fair, a year and almost a half. Right? Okay, sure enough. That's right. It is a it is a winter World Cup, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, so you went again. You went with five midfield options. I know. I'm okay. being s- sneaky these days. Yeah, you know, and I feel like it's pretty consistent with Burhalter to go with a a three eight six six. Mm-hmm. Generally yep. speaking. Now I have a reason for it, Brett, and that's because some of the players he lists as wingers. He consistently lists as midfielders on his list. Sure, and I so. I, I, I ignore those, and I, I we, <laughs> yeah whatever. So anyways, right. so I had the same four: Legit, Adams, McKenney, and Musa. Um, and I, I, I channeled my inner Burhalter, and I went with Acosta. Oh my not god! I really, not that I, I don't want him there. <laughs> we talk about this all the time. I don't want you're, him there. You're channeling your inner Burhalter. What's I, going on it's here? Flip flopped. <laughs> And I also went with uh, Luca De La Torre. 
God, I hope you're right. Brother. I would love to see him on there. And and we'll we'll talk we'll talk about him in a future segment here tonight. Um, at least I'm gonna bring him up. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure yep. I'm sure he's on your list too. He is. Yep. <laughs> And but it's, unfor- uh, it's an unfortunate list of yeah. those who get popped right in between the butt cheeks. Not not not, a, not the non burhalter favorites. Yes. So no, that I, so that's my six midfielders. Who got more royally screwed in the last call-ups in the last six months than Luca De La Torre? It's, honestly, it's a great question, and <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason um for this but again just greg doesn't like skill sometimes maybe maybe burhalter thought he was uh mexican nationality or something i don't know uh, uh, <laughs> or, <laughs> no all yeah. right i guess I it's kid, of course <laughs> you kid yeah. uh wing 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 you start with the wings all right so going with the obvious here i've got pulisic and reina got wea aronson and I feel like the, the big questions for the roster is really going to be who's going to start in the center or who's going to play, who's going to be called up for the center. So as a form is concerned right now, and also Burhalter favorite, I've got DK and Sargent. Oh, you just did them all. Okay. Sorry. Yes. All right. Um, so winger specifically for me, I have way up Pulisic, Aronson and Reyna as well. Um, okay. Cause I just don't think there's any doubt about it. Well, it who's really- going to step up at that point. I mean, they're pretty well solidified. Yeah, so I I brought Hoppy as another guy who can flip flop between winger and forward. Sure, so okay. I, well, I mean, Hoppy I mean, uh, all, all all depends on what happens with the club says, I'm sure, but okay. Yeah, so I brought Hoppy, DK, and Sergeant because as we as both keep... left off Peafock. Yeah, I could have swore since you were adding another striker, and then you're going to bring in Peafock. I didn't. P Fox actually performing, whereas uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Hoppy did well, but uh, only in short stints. I'm just looking and a year through... down the road. Yeah, and a year and a half down the road. So but... Hoppy, Hoppy was my only year down the road vision. Uh, just... I just don't see P Fox doing that well. But you uh, know, in all honesty, though, I mean, unless you unless you're seeing with your you know your future glasses. You're seeing Hoppy being transferred to a different club besides Shaka. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you're if you're seeing that, then I could see you making the argument. Yeah. But everything we've talked about, and I haven't heard any rumblings recently. But then again, I don't have my ear to the floor. But I mean, I all I'm assuming that he's going to be playing in Bundesliga two next year. And even if he does. And he's kicking ass, and Fox kicking ass in the Swiss League. I think they're comparable, comparable leagues, and in difficulty. The only thing that gives Fox some advantage is that his club is going to be playing Champions League ball, at least for a brief period before they lose. And um, three games is better than no games. I get it, but but. Yeah, I think that's the only thing he's got going mm. for him. And then look at the fact that I know that that um, young boys is gonna they're gonna lose some players, so he's probably gonna get more playing time than he did last year. That should help him, you would think. But if it doesn't, he's gonna be exposed. So we'll see. Right now, I got Hoppy. You know, Brett, a, a player that has not played for the national team. I know. And you 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 you've slotted him in. Okay. Like yeah. I said, you, you, you're predicting the future. I was drinking. You've got, the envelope, you've got the envelope to your forehead. Yes. <laughs> uh, Who are they going to be the center strikers? A la Johnny Carson. 2022? Johnny Carson. Was there <laughs> another guy that did that too? Um, no, I don't, I don't think know so. if Conan did that or not. I know he did something similar to an extent. Conan did the in the year 2000. 2000. Yeah. Oh, what a great yeah. segment that was. That was, and now like way beyond 2000. So people are like, oh, you used to watch that show before I, it was the year 2000? I made that reference, and I go, and I go like in the year 2000, just so <laughs> nobody's going to get that reference. But 
<laughs> but they used to do it like with one low voice like yours and one high one like this. You ready? Go. <laughs> In the, in the year, year 2000. 2000. Oh my god, I can't hit that note. <laughs> Between too the high. two of us, you're the singer. You should be able to. Not anymore, Brett. <laughs> I mean, I can sing, but a whole register lower. Mm. Um, all right, I think that's it. Those that's those are our teams. 